Hello, welcome back to SJ336, St. John 336. This is a presentation by video of my book, A Daily Devotional. I'm Stephanie Jeanette, and we are in <clears throat> the day 99 of the Daily Devotional. And of this challenge that I'm presenting, where you create a prayer warrior group for your neighborhood, we are on day uh, seven. Okay. Suggested readings are Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. You will recognize that as the armor, the armor, you know, getting our armor on. Uh, the books of Acts chapter 16, that's 1-6. The book of Acts chapter 16 verses 13 through 40, it's 40, and then the book of Titus chapter 3 verses 2 to 4. Now reminding you that when I suggest word, the word to study, I do it in such a way that it entices you to want to read more surrounding that passage. Okay, so um, Titus 3, 2 to 4, I'm going to read that for us. This is first the King James Version. To speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared. And then English Standard Version, Titus. Now Titus is the book just before Philemon, which is just before Hebrews. English Standard Version, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. For we ourselves are once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God, our Savior, appeared. Delicious after that, so definitely want to read further on. Further on. And the suggested praise song, Blessed Be Your Name by Ohana, O-H-A-N-A. YouTube upload date April 15th, 2012. April 15th, 2012 is a YouTube update. It's Blessed Be Your Name by Ohana. And a wonderful song. Um, great talent in this young lady. And uh, so I put a playlist and I completed all the songs uploaded all of the suggested songs. Now some of them I traded out for others, but I made sure that each playlist had the appropriate number of songs per day so it wouldn't confuse anybody. So there are playlists from January 2019 through March 2020. We'll go through the first eight days of March. Um, if I, you know, continue to make entries as the Lord would have me, I'll just make another volume of the book and prayerfully it will actually get published one of these days. But for now, um, you'll see in my channel, SJ336, the public, play, pray, the public playlists are, um, or includes those that are for this book. A daily devotional book. So um, January has 31 suggested songs. Uh, February 2019 has 28. February 2020 has 29 because that's leap year. Um, March 2019 has 31 days. You know, March 2020 just has eight because, like I said, I'm just going to stop there um, for this first volume if if that's the case. And um, April 2019, which by the time you hear this, 
um, by the time I upload this, it'll be April, it'll be in April, and um, I'm recording it, it's March 28th, but, and so that's 30 days, so, you know, I match the number of songs in the playlist, and they're all YouTube uploads, so I match the number of songs, um, or, you know, they're, they're YouTube uploads, and, you know, 99.9% .9 of them are songs, some of them are teachings, some of them are just um, a video presentation, like Names of God. It's just a pres video presentation of Names of God. Alright, so um, again, that song is Blessed Be Your Name. And YouTube upload dated April 15th, 2012, per uh, performed by Ohana. And today is entry, day 99. And this is a the last day it's potentially the last day of the um, suggested prayer group uh, meeting but I think I have one more topic wise in terms of intercessory prayer topics okay um, day 99 it's the best practice if the host has a prayer partner of his or her own this would be her husband or his wife if the host is married if you're single, it's best if it's someone in on the upper end of the unknown through no better than self spectrum. Um, again, go from nine days 93 through 100 for this challenge for review, okay? Um, someone who knows you well, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and your tendencies who is not shy about bringing to your attention concerns that may otherwise derail your efforts in honoring Christ Jesus. This is someone with whom you both look after one another's souls for the kingdom of Christ Jesus, the cause of the cross. Be sure to have scheduled a weekly prayer time with this person, particularly on that seventh or off day during this 32-day challenge. Schedule them in advance to cover all four weeks and pre and post challenge tete-a-tetes to serve as planning and follow-up sessions. Most important, most importantly ingrained in yourself and the participants is the reminder that we are the church, capital C. Often we turn to the church little c building or pastor to meet our every need, but we are the church, capital C, and we are to contribute to our local community in time and efforts and even monetarily, just as much as the pastor in the church building unit and the leaders there. Intercessory prayer for day 99. Put your armor on tight for this one. All right, so it's this. These are the other. This is the other topic. Another topic for the intercessory prayer that you were to be doing on a daily basis for 28 to 32 days in a rotational basis. Okay, and there's seven days of topics so but if you're meeting for six days so you know you'll just rotate them. put your armor on tight for this one the hopeless the homeless the drugged out prisoners serial criminals church members hiding behind a facade yet molesting children and parishioners and killing people that all would seek deliverance by god almighty and find christ jesus of nazareth as their lord and savior as the Holy Ghost renews them, their life purpose, and thereby their daily activities. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray, amen. And we are to be reminded that all sin is sin in God's eyes, okay? For us here, experience of day by day, the terrestrial plane, we, we tend to react differently to certain degrees of, you know, Set. But in God's eyes, it all stinks. Similarly, the blood of Christ Jesus can cover it all. Okay, the blood of Christ Jesus has covered it all. But if, if a person has not received him as Lord and Savior and appropriated his propitiation in their lives for their sin and sins, and they're, they're out there on the worldly course or demonic course, without an option to have their mind renewed and their purpose uh, renewed and reconciled to God through Christ Jesus. 
So, you know, that's what our aim is for all people. You know, the prayer of someone behind prison bars is just as strong if they're in Christ as a prayer of someone who's not behind a prison bar. Okay, so there can still be profound contribution from anyone. Okay, and I, I, you know, I encourage you, if you're someone that you're out there in the world and you're committing atrocities and no one has discovered you yet, confess. I'm not talking go to some local priest and confess and go hiding around. I'm talking about get your ducks in a row, gather up whatever money you can for your family, you know, let them know you love them. Go turn yourself in. Stop committing these atrocities. Stop raping. Stop killing. Stop teaching other people how to rape and kill. Stop creating drugs. Promote the kingdom of Christ Jesus on earth. Stop serving Satan. Stop letting Lucifer use you. Connect with God Almighty. Reconcile yourself to God Almighty in Christ Jesus by his blood. You can and will be saved if you give your life to him. Christ Jesus will meet you right where you're at. Nothing that you have done will surprise him. He knows all things. Nothing that you have done really will surprise anybody at this point. But um, get yourself right with God. Turn yourself in. God can still use you. As long as he's letting you still breathe, you still have a chance to contribute positively to the kingdom of God Almighty, even still on earth, and to secure your spot in everlasting life instead of everlasting damnation. Okay, so we have covered the scripture, scriptural references, the... Uh, Suggested song, the entry. I'm gonna think, did I stop in the middle? Follow up sessions, contribute locally to the community, okay. And then the prayer, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. that all would seek deliverance by God Almighty and find Christ Jesus of Nazareth as their Lord and Savior, as the Holy Ghost renews them, their life purpose, and thereby their daily activities. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. Amen. Okay, have an excellent day. Thank you for tuning in.